the Joe Rogan experience. Hey, wait, that's this. This reminds me of you tell when you talk about that island, that private island. You know, yes. Sentinel, Sen, Sentinel, North Sentinel island? Island. Island. North Sentinel Island. Yeah. Planes still fly over that, or no? Are they not allowed to well, fly over that? Is it restricted airspace? I don't think it's restricted. No, but you can't land there, and you can't circle. Right. You can't visit. India owns it, right? Doesn't the doesn't India control it? I believe so. It? Yeah, and it's like ten mile radius. Mm -hmm. I saw a thing online that said a boat crashed there, and you could still see on Google Images the remnants of the boat. Yeah, they came for the people in the boat too, and the helicopters got them off the boat right as the people were like pulling up and oh, so they lived. rafts and shit. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, they they lived, but those the villagers were coming for them. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine stumbling been, across a village? They've been fucked with sometime in the past. You know that uh, Commander Maurice Vidal Portman, yeah. that guy. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Respectable Law on uh, Twitter. He has a uh, a giant thread about it. It may be pinned on the top of his Twitter page, but explaining uh, like one of the reasons why those people are so hostile. Right. And it has to do with this British explorer who was really kinky. And uh, <laughs> he went there to fuck. Yeah, who knows? He what wanted he fuck did. island. Who yeah. knows what he did? But people got sick because of him. You know, this I had this guy Graham Hancock on, yeah, and he was talking to me about um, uh, all the different shit that they're finding in the Amazon and in South America, and that there used to be twenty million people that lived in the Amazon, and they died off because of sickness. They were visited mostly. Like, like, apparently, Europeans when they came in like the 1500s, they would tell these incredible stories about these huge civilizations in the Amazon. But then when explorers came back 200 years later, there was nothing there. And they wow. were like, this is crazy. They, they lied. They must have lied. But it turns out they didn't lie. What happened was smallpox ran through the fucking jungle and <laughs> White killed people. everybody. We did it. And then these, the jungle just overtook these cities. And now they're finding these cities with something called LIDAR. They use these planes and they circle over this area or helicopters, whatever the fuck they do. And they shoot this shit down, this LIDAR. It's like laser radar. And it gives you a detailed image of what's below the surface and what's Holy there. Shit. And it shows them all these crazy structures, all these like, uh, like roadways and irrigation systems and circles inside of a square. Like it was villages and cities and millions of people probably lived there. Fuck. And look at it. That's all the stuff they're finding now. What? Yeah. And all of it was swallowed up by the jungle. They think within like a hundred years it just vanished in the jungle. Wow. Because it's so so lush and tropical down there. Dude, it was the one of the most amazing podcasts I've ever done. To listen to that guy tell this story. Right after this one though. No, you are the best. <laughs> You're the best. But he's, uh, this is kind of well. This is a like a, this is like the findings of Atlantis, right? Like when they started finding, you started finding more simple. and more land underground. Have you seen this? They found traces of five drugs, including dimethyltryptamine, on a thousand-year-old South American ritual kit. DMT, so, baby. So that's like proof positive um, evidence that at least one thousand years ago they were using ayahuasca. Wow. This was the drug pouch that mm -hmm. was made from fox snouts. That yeah. sounds so crazy. Fox like, nose. It literally, look, when you see it, it looks like a nose. Whoa, of a fox. <coughs> they used everything. And the fur is, is still crazy. intact. It looks really nice. The nose. I wonder why they do that with a fox. It's probably like some cleverness. Something. Do you know that that's what a shaman, that's like literally what a shaman is supposed to, that's what the, the, the definition is supposed to be in certain cultures? Huh. Certain cultures, it's a clever fellow. That's who the, sh the shaman is. It kind of makes sense. They are just clever fellows. But I mean, imagine that. Like he takes a fox, that clever little fucker. I'm going to take his face. <laughs> I want and his hide fucking my face. Drugs in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Only a person would think to do something so I'm creepy. Hide my drugs in this or thing's from nose. Insect. Chipmunk cheeks. Yeah, right. That would <laughs> be the good move. Pouch. Yeah, a little pouch. Those are good pouches that hangs from your belt. It's just chipmunk cheeks <laughs> with all your coins in it. 